Hello, you luminous wonder. Welcome to space. Up until a handful of billions of years ago, this area was an enormous cloud of gas, ice, rock, and dust. Gravity decided to develop the area, so it started pulling the materials together. What started as a few grains of dust became a handful, then more. Time kept ticking, the dust kept building more and more, on and on and on. And then... Electrons were stripped off of their parent atoms, creating a plasma. The nuclei in the plasma started moving faster and faster until they crashed into each other so hard that they stuck together. Nuclear fusion kicked in, the ball began to glow, and you were born. Meanwhile, in the disk of materials that still existed around you, small particles crashed together to form gigantic bodies, which became the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets you see all around you. So your birth was also sort of birthing a solar system. Let me take a look at you. You're Beautiful. I'm a local real estate agent who's been assigned to help you ease into the transition of being an integral part of this neighborhood. I am here to make sure your orientation goes as smoothly as possible. You know, for all there is out there in the great out there, not a lot of things get to know how and why they were made. You're pretty lucky. You're also lucky because you have me to help show you around. You have some amazing properties in your system. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. No, I suppose you wouldn't understand that reference. It's from a galaxy far, far away. Because of your star power, you have the unique ability of traveling with me to tour your planetary system. If you were to physically move from your position, it would throw all of this awesomeness out of order. So, you are going to come with me through the light you shed on these marbles. Okay? You can go anywhere your light can. You'll even be able to see yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Alright? Let's be on our way. Can you hear that? The planets sing to us through electromagnetic vibrations. Every planet has its own unique playlist. I think your closest neighbor is a great place to start. Welcome to Ephesio Theos. This is a hot piece of property, covered in a sea of molten rock and metal covering its surface, 
The ocean of lava is due to its orbit's extreme proximity to you. It has a really thin and tenuous atmosphere with trace amounts of various metals and water vapor in gaseous form. Your gravity produces internal heat within the planet from time to time, liquefying rock into magma, powering volcanic eruptions. Ephestio Theos has excesses of concentrated sulfur on its surface due to the continuous volcanic activity. The entire illuminated surface is covered in lava oceans, while the dark side of the property has lava lakes and rock rain caused by the condensation of vaporized rock from the hotter side. Neat, huh? Alright, let's move on to the next planet. Welcome to Cruza Nubila. While not as close to home, this pretty destination spot hosts temperatures that can reach 900 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a thick atmosphere with clouds made of sulfuric acid and carbon dioxide. The perfect conditions for an extreme greenhouse effect to warm the surface, which is hot enough to melt lead. Winds on Cruza Nubila can reach 450 miles per hour. Blistering temperatures on the lowlands of the planet dissolve the minerals on the surface, which enter the atmosphere as metallic mist. At higher elevations, this mist consolidates into stunning droplets, resulting in metallic rain that cascades over the mountains and frosts on the peaks. You could come here and relax to the liquid metal symphonies and reflect, literally and figuratively. But that's not all, my combustible companion. Let's head over to our next destination.
Welcome to Periculo Sunglasses. This lovely getaway has a density greater than those of gas giants, but not quite as dense as rocky leviathans. It's primarily made of hydrogen and oxygen. The planet's high surface gravity, high mass, small radius, and distance from you is a mixture for magic. The temperature on the planet's surface is an easy and consistent 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Any water on the planet exists in the form of hot ice, or ice 10 if you're feeling fancy. It's water compressed into a hot, solid state by tremendous amounts of pressure. It can remain solid despite the blistering temperature. So if you want to chill out with some hot ice, Periculos and Glaciers is the place to be. I can't wait to take you to our next stop. This, my dazzling dear, is Suavis Macula. I'd bet all my star bits that you'll find this planet, among all others, the most captivating. Eventually, this is your water world. Unlike other planets with water, this one is in the perfect location, the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold. With the finely tuned amount of liquid water and your energy, can you smell what this rock is cooking? Soup filled with DNA and seasoned with proteins mingling and migrating. Here, water freezes and floats, insulating underlying liquid, preventing it from freezing further so that life can continue. That's right and you're going to have a huge hand to play in its existence here. You'll be responsible for photosynthesis in plants, which in turn will feed countless other species of life. Carbon dioxide helps trap your heat to keep the planet warm. See that moon out there? That moon helps stabilize the planet's rotation preventing changes in climate, and pulling the ocean's tides. Suavis Macula also has a magnetic field that protects it from... from... well... you, frankly. You wield a lot of power. And you know how the old saying goes. With great power comes great, violent bursts of radiation. Don't fret too much, though. This treasure has a keeper, a protector from another vector. The presence of a much, much larger planet farther out in the solar system blocks Suavis Macula from incoming debris, some as big as moons. 
Let's head over there now. Our last stop is Ventus Custos. It's the largest planet in your system. This breathy behemoth has rings comprised of dust particles from impacts between moons, comets, and asteroids. In the upper atmosphere, lightning turns methane into soot. As it falls toward the surface, carbon in the air is pressed into graphite, and as you get closer to the core, the carbon is pressed into 1,000 tons of diamonds a year. I do love a gaudy goliath, but I hope the other neighbors don't feel like they have to keep up with the custos. Deep under clouds made of ammonia crystals and sulfur is a huge ocean made of liquid metallic hydrogen. As the planet rotates, the churning liquid hydrogen creates the most powerful magnetic field in your neighborhood. The temperature in the clouds is minus 234 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the core temperature may be about 43,232 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than your own surface. It's interesting because if this planet's property lines had been drawn about 80 times what they are currently, nuclear fusion would have occurred, and it too would have become a star. Ventus Custos has a very strong magnetic field that traps ionized particles from the solar wind and accelerates them to nearly the speed of light. The view here is brilliant. Brilliant. Just like you. So that's the basic tour. Let's head back. We didn't visit any moons or asteroid belts, but I thought we should take it easy and let you get the hang of traveling. It can be a little intimidating when you're just starting out in a new place, but you live in a great location with beautiful curb appeal. It's energy efficient. You really couldn't ask for better neighbors. I think you're going to be very happy. There, you're home. Hey, listen, I know that was a lot to take in. So if you're feeling scared or stressed at all, I want you to know it's going to be okay. We're all floating through space together trying to figure out where we belong. There can be dark days, even for rays of sunshine. Life can be daunting. Sometimes, it may feel like you're stuck in one place and powerless. 
you might feel overwhelmed by all you have to do. Sometimes it may seem like everything is going in circles. You might feel lonely in this vast empire. Even though it all comes with the territory of being a part of the universe, existing is not always easy. But never forget that there is miraculous beauty all around you. If you keep your chin up, you'll see you're never really alone here. You're a star. You light up everything around you. You have everything you need inside to burn strong and bright. Plus, I'll check up on you from time to time. Want to make an appointment for... Two billion years from now? Okay, you're booked. I'll come back then. See what you've done with the place, and we can catch up. If you find you really need to reach me, I'm always just a wish away. See ya. <laughs>